I love this story. So there is a group based out of Washington called the Washington Three Percenters, which basically consists of armed thugs, white supremacists, and over the weekend they held a rally called March for Our Rights, which is supposed to be the right-wing response to the Parkland students' March for Our Lives. Um, apparently, this rally that they held didn't go as planned because um, a local member of city council out of the area wrote this on Facebook. Sasha Baron Cohen pulled a bullshit stunt at the March for Our Rights 3 event disguised as a pack of Southern California paid for the stage setup and musical entertainment, came on stage disguised as the lead singer of the last band, singing a bunch of racist, hateful, disgusting shit. His security blocked event organizers from getting him off the stage or pulling power from the generator. After the crowd realized what he was saying and turned on him, his security then rushed the stage and evacuated them to a waiting private ambulance that was contracted to be their escape transport. It was a setup and a smack in the face of the great people who put on this event and uh if you're wondering yes we have the video footage now he claims that the crowd turns on um sasha baron cohen at one point but watch how far he takes it with this song and they're still on board <laughs> So my question is, at what point did he lose the crowd? Because they seemed like they were on board with everything that he was saying, no matter how ridiculous that seemed. Now, it was kind of hard to understand everything, but um, basically he called coronavirus a liberal hoax. They agreed. Um, and then there were a couple of different responses that he tried to get the crowd to yell. Um, give them the Wuhan flu or chop them up like the Saudis do. So he said, what are we going to do with Dr. Fauci, they yelled, chop him up like the Saudis do. So they're advocating for violence against the public official. Um, he said, CNN is fake news controlled by the you-know-who, which is obviously referencing an anti-Semitic trope about Jewish people controlling the media. I mean, did you hear any boos from the crowd? I didn't hear any boos. Seems like he didn't lose them at that point. Um, he says, journalists, what are we going to do? The crowd chanted, Chop them up like the Saudis do. Wow. Now, to be clear, he is basically telling them to say, chop them up like the Saudis do, right? He's telling them to say this. What's absurd is the fact that they are agreeing to this. They're agreeing to say what he is telling them to say. To them, it's not too absurd. Or maybe they're not thinking. They're just dumb. But either way, I mean, this is pretty incriminating. Um, the last thing, Chinese people, what are we going to do? nuke them up like in world war ii so 
all of this, and it was the Japanese who were nuked, but I'm sure that nobody in the crowd was confused. But um, nobody was lost here. Like, nobody protested this. Nobody, like, ran up to the stage and, you know, tried to get them to come down. If it was that controversial to this crowd, don't you think that when he started talking about chopping up people like the Saudis, he would have lost them? But that public official claims that, you know, uh, he lost the crowd at some point. At what point? Now, maybe he does lose the crowd because we don't have the full video. That was just a Facebook live stream uh, that somebody posted to YouTube. I don't know if this is part of uh, Sasha Baron's second season of his show on Showtime. Who knows? But all I'm saying is the fact that he got the crowd to go along with this extremist, quite literal fascistic rhetoric. It really speaks to how deranged the far right is. And it's not surprising because the far right is deranged. Otherwise, they wouldn't be, you know, far right. But these are the people who support Donald Trump. These are, are the people who they have big signs there that say defend against tyranny as they literally call for tyranny. Chop up journalists, bomb other countries, nuke other countries, uh, nuke public or chop up public officials like we do uh, like they do in Saudi Arabia. I mean, if you don't see this as a Trump supporter and feel cringe and embarrassed that your people went along with this, I mean, you have to admit that you are an extremist. You have to admit that if you can get people, uh, that if Sasha Baron Cohen was able to get them to willingly chant to kill people, kill journalists, then, I mean, your, your, your side is really bad. So you can argue, you know, that the radical left is a scary boogeyman that we should all be afraid of. But what are they doing that's so bad? They're tearing down racist statues of Confederate soldiers who shouldn't be there in the first place. Time and again, we see property damage. What they're advocating here is for murder and genocide. And apparently they were offended. But he got through a lot of that song. Maybe he went more extreme at the end and they started to realize, put two and two together, maybe he's trolling us. But either way, I mean, this is not a good look for right-wingers. It shows you how extreme they've become. And yet the media talks about the far left all the time. We have an entire political party that is far right. Some elected members of Congress who are Republican are quite literally fascist now. We're not talking about proto-fascists. We're talking about outright fascism here. Advocating for, you know, United States citizens to be extrajudicially murdered. Matt Gaetz just tweeted out a couple of weeks ago that we should hunt down Antifa like we do the terrorists in the Middle East. This party is so extreme that a party like this, this far right of a party, would usually be relegated to the fringes in Europe. Not necessarily now, but they wouldn't be mainstream, right? Like UKIP is about as extreme as Republicans and they don't really have a chance of ever putting together a governing coalition. I shouldn't say that because they are moving to the right, but you get the point. Like the Republican Party in comparison with other right wing parties around the world is so further to the right, so much more extreme. And, you know, it's not just their rhetoric any longer. Now they're actually advocating. Let's move towards violence, not just against, you know, foreign enemies, but let's 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 maybe advocate for violence against American journalists, American public officials like Dr. Fauci. I mean, this should make all of them stop and think and be introspective. If, you, if you're a conservative in America, this should scare you, that your side is advocating this. And if it doesn't scare you, if you have nothing to say, then I guess you agree with it.